Hi YouTube, this is Sherry. I started out on here with the name of the Real Share Bear 352, but I didn't like that. I thought it sounded too much like a starting weight, and I want to be more of an after than a before, so I'm going to change my name to the Real Share Bear. So I hope um, you guys will support me, watch my videos, give me suggestions just getting started so bear with me here um, I'm an OR nurse I've been one for 13 years so I actually work in surgery so I'm not afraid to have surgery um, I have been looking into procedures now for um, over a year I thought about having the lap band but I didn't want to have to keep going back for fills and I heard a lot about complications, erosions with the band, so that's when I did research and discovered the sleeve, and I thought that sounded like an absolutely perfect procedure. Very simple, no rerouting of the intestines. I'm a big fan. Just one staple line, um, and take away 85% of the stomach, so I'm excited to be a VSG patient. Now, my um, employer doesn't pay for weight loss surgery. They have it as an exclusion. So I'm going to be a self-pay patient going to Tijuana, Mexico. I've decided to go through Ready for a Change for Dr. Garcia. And I've been uh, dealing back and forth with Alma. If anybody's dealt with her, she's super nice, super helpful. So she's helping me get all my FMLA in order. Um, and I've been, uh, I've asked off for my surgery date. Um, I've got a prospective surgery date now of April 17th, so 12 weeks from Thursday is when my surgery will be, so I'm getting really excited. Um, my work has been really supportive, so I can't say enough about that. I really appreciate it. I haven't told many people, just a few people that I'm close to, and my supervisors, people that will need to know why I'm out. Uh, but like I say, I'm self-pay, so that means I don't have a program to go through. Like so many of you guys have steps that you've had to go through, um, to get your surgery scheduled um, so without that I don't have um, counseling nutrition there's a lot of benefits I know it's hard for you to go through supervised diets and it takes a long time and a lot of uh, perseverance to get through those programs but also I think there's a lot of benefits to them because you have a lot of work in and more invest in it and I think um, that has to help with your success so I'm seeking counseling for myself um, I'm going through my employers employee assistance program I'm sure some of you have heard of that um, we get um, eight visits paid for so I'm gonna see a counselor starting soon to um, try to work through some of the issues that got me here um, because it isn't just a physical journey that we're going on it's so much of it's a mental game and I understand that I've watched a ton of people's videos talking about that especially lately sounds like the veterans are all getting to a spot now where the emotional side is really becoming more prevalent than even the weight loss now that they're getting close to goal weight so I want to try to um, work on some of that ahead of time so I'm working on counseling um, I'm starting to eat like a weight loss surgery patient um, putting protein first not eating 30 minutes before or after meals um, I've cut out junk food, eating late at night, um, drinking my water, so I've already lost nine pounds, so that's exciting. 
I think I'm really getting motivated and getting on the right track now that I know it's actually happening because I went over a year and a half um, I've waited and I've watched videos on YouTube I've done research and it's just been kind of like is it ever gonna get here please so finally I can see a little speck of light at the end of the tunnel so I'm getting excited now and it's getting me on the right track so that's a good thing um, so why weight loss surgery and why now um, I've tried so many things over the years so many ways um, to try to lose weight and none of it's worked I mean I've had partial success I've had success but then the weight always comes back um, you all know the drill so I just need a permanent solution I'm turning 40 this year and I really want to become accountable for my health my well-being I've got so many little things coming up with my health now and it's it's scary it's scary to think about becoming diabetic and all the things that I look at with my health that are going on they all tie right back into my weight so I want to really get a handle on it this year um, and I want to have a total life change I really feel like I live my life on the sidelines and I'm tired of that I'm sick of watching other people do the things that I want to do I'm sick of not being able to participate and I want to really start the second half of my life if I'm blessed to have another 40 years um, I want to start it out with a bang and uh, hopefully start running and get back into uh, being healthy so um, I want to give a shout out to my girls love me I'm Tracy I've gotten to know her um, through her videos and I've gotten to know her on a personal level lately uh, we're both hoping to go to Tijuana and I don't know if you saw her video where she was talking about um, being turned down so touching heartbreaking and the fat kings have gotten behind her and they have a benefactor with a radio show they're trying to raise money so if you all don't know about that go watch um, the latest fat kings video and uh, try to get involved with helping her get her surgery she's a great girl also soon to be Stacy I wanted to shout out to her she's getting ready to go to Tijuana and have her surgery so I feel like they're a couple of people that are going to be my sleeve sisters if you will and um, if anyone else is going to Tijuana or has been to Tijuana or has dealt with ready for a change um, if you want to comment and let me know what to expect how did your journey go I'd love to hear about it so um, I've been watching a ton of veterans videos. I love the Fat Kings, of course, K Star, Less of Sarah, Nerd in Oregon, some of my favorites, VSG Tanya, Harry Draco Girl, and Little Aussie Mel. I love the Aussies. I love their accent. I don't like my southern accent, so but I love theirs. Um, I'm looking to connect with mentors and uh, veterans as well as newbies um, but a lot of the um, more seasoned people are talking about um, generations of weight loss surgery so I'm looking to connect with people that have had it recently or are going too soon so we can form our own generation so I'm looking to get more involved I'm going to try to make a Facebook name uh, with my new YouTube name, The Real Share Bear, because I don't want to connect with my high school folks and have them know all my business on here. So I'm going to try to get that going. So I'm looking to get involved in the Facebook community um, as well and sharing with you guys. 
Um, I made some pre-op goals, some things that I want to work on. I'll read those to you. Um, number one is carry a water bottle and drink more water. I've been doing really good on that. I um, am a water person anyway, so that is not too hard except for when I'm actually in the operating room and I can't get out as much as I'd like to. So I think that's going to be a challenge for me. I'm going to be looking for ways to work around that. Um, and maybe since my work has been um, really gracious and they know what's going on, maybe they'll give me breaks because I don't want to get dehydrated. That's one of the main things I know at first. Um, number two, I stole from Fat King's Phil. Uh, I said I want to do 40 workouts between now and surgery date. So I've already done a couple of those. So I'm counting them down. I have a little calendar. And I want to start strength training as well. Um, I work on, out on the treadmill and I swim. So I want to add some strength training to fend off that muscle loss I know I can expect. Um, number three is start taking vitamins. Um, I've been on B12 and vitamin D already. My doctor had me on those because I was having some hair loss. Um, just a fluke thing. I had a vitamin D deficiency and didn't realize it. So I've already been on those and I got a list of what Dr. Garcia um, has his patients take post-op so I'm going to be getting those soon and starting to take them. Um, number four, cut out sweets and junk. I mean obviously gave me going to the vending machine and getting a Butterfinger. So I'm working on planning and preparation um, preparing healthy snacks that are appropriate for me and taking them to work so that's been going really good my cafeteria has jacked up their prices so I can't afford to eat down there anyway so that makes it easy <laughs> to stick to that one um, cut out caffeine and carbonation was number five um, that's not a big deal for me like I said I'm a water drinker anyway um, so it's not hard for me not to drink carbonated drinks. Um, I still have about a cup of coffee in the morning and I think that's fine. So uh, number six, practice not drinking 30 minutes before and after meals. I thought that was going to be the real tough one. But I started doing that about five days ago and I've been doing it ever since. It's not been a problem. And I can really tell that it keeps me fuller longer even though I haven't had my sleeve yet. So um, that's been really beneficial uh, for me. And like I said, I've lost nine pounds already. So yay! Um, number seven, practice eating with a small spoon on a small plate. Um, I have been trying to serve myself on a small plate cutting up my bites really tiny and uh, taking a long time to chew each bite and that does help also when you don't get in a hurry all these things we know but it's so hard to do but like I say I found my motivation so that's good um, number eight uh, protein first so since I've been doing that it's not like I've been depriving myself of carbs but once I eat my um, serving of protein and my uh, non-starchy vegetables I only have really enough room for a couple of bites of starches so that's been really good too uh, number nine was start tracking I want to start using my fitness pal I have not actually done that yet but I've heard a lot of good things about it so I'm gonna um, be starting to work on that this week number ten start counseling I have made phone calls and I'm waiting for them to call me back. They should have called me back before, so I'll probably be giving them a call um, maybe tomorrow. Number 11, sample protein powders. I've not done that yet. I'm going to be going shopping and getting all my vitamins and um, protein powders. So if anybody has any suggestions or wants to share with me what their favorites are, um, please let me know. Um, I watched a good video on 
uh, protein supplements and things that um, the Gooch Monster has been getting ready because he's about to go into his surgery. And so I really appreciate that. Um, he had some good ideas in there that he shared. Oh, what else? What else? Um, what I won't miss about being morbidly obese. Um, everything. <laughs> but seriously, um, the walls I've built, not letting people in um, to my circle. I always have a guard up. I'm always suspicious, especially around new people. Like, what are they thinking about me? How badly are they judging me? So, I'm sure I come off aloof. And I don't mean it that way, but it's just... It's no fun being fat. You guys know. Um, of course, all the things that you guys mentioned in your like top 10 videos, top 10 things you won't miss about being obese, um, I'll second every single one of those, you all know. Um, but I tried to put down some different ones just to make it interesting. So, um, special scrubs. I... Um, I already said I work in the OR and we have to wear um, hospital laundered green scrubs and um, the size that I need they never kept in the women's locker room so I would always have to go knocking on the door of the men's room uh, can I get some 4x scrubs how humiliating and it's ridiculous that I should have to do that but I just can't wait until I can just grab a large and just go like everybody else because I know everyone knows that pile of 4x scrubs that sits on the bottom shelf belongs to me and no one else and it's just all so humiliating I don't have to tell you guys <laughs> um, I put the water down me because I think over the years of being obese um, I've just like I said built up walls and I just I think my personality has gotten so watered down because it's just I don't know I just don't look people in the eye I don't uh, go out of my way to start conversations and I don't um, I don't want to attract attention to myself so um, all the witty comments that I could be popping off with I don't a lot of times because I just rather blend in and um, I think invisibility is one too. Um, there's a lot of men where I work that I notice they just act like they can't see me at all. I think um, so much of women's worth is tied into their attractiveness, their outer shell. and uh, So I won't miss the feeling of being invisible. That's ugly. Um, holding my head down. Um, I get on the elevator, I don't talk to anybody, I just hold my head down or look up to see when I get to my floor, so I won't miss that. I can do better than that. Living on the sidelines and putting limits on myself and what I can do. Um, of course, people have mentioned, you know, uh, weight restricted things like horseback riding. I love horseback riding. Um, I'd like to do rock climbing with my son. Um, just anything active. Going to the beach, being able to feel good about wearing a swimsuit, you know. It doesn't have to be a bikini, but come on. I don't want to wear a grandma skirt bathing suit. The way I breathe, I'm sure you all can tell. It seems like I'm out of breath and I'm just sitting here. I ain't done nothing and I'm out of breath. Um, wearing clothes that hide my body. Um, I love fashion and I love cute clothes that girls wear. High heels, makeup, all that stuff. But I just don't look good in it and I don't... <laughs> I don't want all my rolls and bumps showing, so there's no way I'm wearing that stuff. So I'm looking forward to not feeling like I have to hide in my clothes. Um, sweating. I work in the OR, for pity's sake. 
Can you all imagine what the temperature is in there? I can tell you. It's about 62 in most rooms. And people have nipples hard enough to cut glass in there. And I'm in there sweating. I won't miss that. And uh, butt sweat. When I sit down, I leave that little butt crack sweat print on the chairs. You all know what I'm talking about. I hope that's not TMI, but I'm not going to miss that. Um, yeah, just socially not letting people in. I want to um, build relationships that last. And I look forward to connecting to a lot of you guys. Because I know you've been through the same struggles and you know what it's like. So reach out to me, please. I want to get involved. And uh, so I look forward to hearing from you guys in uh, 12 more weeks. And I'll be on the loser's bench. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.